What have you done? Oh, my brothers, what have you done? What needed to be done, little Horus? Tell me what you've done. It is as Ezekiel said. We did what had to be done. The War Master was dying, and Vaden couldn't save him. So we brought him to the Delphos. The Delphos? It is the name of this place. The Temple of the Serpent Lodge. Temple? Horus, you brought the War Master to a fane? Are you mad? The Commander would never have agreed to this. Maybe not. But by the end, he couldn't even speak. He spoke to that damn Remembrancer woman for hours on end before he lost consciousness. We had to place him in a stasis field to keep him alive long enough to bring him here. Is Tarek right? Is this a fane? Fane? Temple? Delphos, House of Healing, call it what you will. With the Warmaster on the threshold of death, neither religion nor its denial seems very significant anymore. It is the only hope we have left. And what do we have to lose? If we do nothing, the Warmaster dies. At least this way he has a chance of life. And at what price will we buy his life? By bringing him to a house of false gods? This goes against everything we have fought for these last two centuries. Don't you see that? If the Emperor was here, he would do the same. You think you know the Emperor's will, Sergar? Does being Lodge Master of a secret society give you the power to know such a thing? Of course not. But I know he would want his son to live. By entrusting his life to these savages. It is from these savages that our own quiet order comes. Yet another reason for me to distrust it then. Come on, we're getting the War Master out of there. You can't. What do you mean? It is said that once the Delphos gate is shut, there is no way to open it save from the inside. A man in need of healing is carried inside and left to whatever the eternal spirits of deceased things decree for him. If it is his destiny to live, he may open the gate himself. If not, it opens in nine days, and his remains are burned before being cast into the pool. Eternal spirits of deceased things? What does that even mean? This is insane. Can't you see that? Standing by and watching him die would have been insane. You judge us for acting out of love. How did you ever think to bring him here anyway? Was it some secret knowledge your damned lodge is privy to? Erebus told you of this place, didn't he? Yes. He knows of these lodges of old, and has seen the power of their healing houses. If the War Master lives, you will be thankful he spoke of it. Where is he? He will answer to me for this. He is not here, Garvey. This was for the Sons of Horus to do. Then where is he now? Still on the Vengeful Spirit? I suppose so. Why is it important to you? I believe you have all been deceived, my brothers. Only the Emperor has the power to heal the War Master now. All else is falsehood and the domain of unclean corpse whisperers. The Emperor is not here. We take what aid we can. What of you, Tarek? Will you turn from your Morneval brothers as Garviel does? Stand with us. Garvey may be a starch ass, Ezekiel, but he's right, and I can't stand with you on this one. I'm sorry. You forget your Morneval oath. You swore to be true to the Morneval to the end of your lives. You will be oath breakers. See, the moon shines upon the water, Loken. The crescent mark of the new moon. It was branded upon your helmet when we swore our Morneval oath. It is a good omen, my brother. Omen? Since when have we put our faith in omens, Horus? The Morneval oath was pantomime. But this is ritual. This is sorcery. I told you then that I would not bow to any fane or acknowledge any spirit. I told you that I owned only the empirical clarity of imperial truth. And I stand by those words. Please, Garvey. We are doing the right thing. I believe we will all rue the day you brought the War Master here. <laughs>